16. Uh, we don't have an audience, well, audience of one today who's familiar with how things work here. So please uh, turn your phones off if you could. And um, nobody to speak, so we'll just go to the roll. David Borsak, Ed Bowen, Jeffrey Tomes, Thomas Feute, here. John Hens, Steve Cummings, here. Kathleen Prop, here. Gary Gray, here. Donna Lori, Robert Feigert, here. Carl Nolenberger, here. Ed, Ed Bowen, here. And Ed. <laughs> <It's> here. <laughs> All right, we, remember we had a long meeting the last time, so we need to approve the minutes for March 1st. Are there any corrections or additions or deletions or anything we need to change on those? Move for approval if there's no changes. Second. Nice. All right, it's been moved and second. All those in favor? Aye. <coughs> Opposed? Okay, motion clearly passes. We're going to uh, have David present the, these items together. We can vote on them separately if you'd like. So. Uh, item 1A is partial street vacation of Northwestern Avenue located adjacent to 324 Washington Avenue. Item 1B is land disposition of the south portions <coughs> of vacated Northwestern Avenue. Thank you, Mr. <coughs> Chairman. You're welcome, sir. <coughs> okay, so I have a couple maps here up on the screen. Um, you're all probably familiar with the Y uh, property on Washington, and Northwestern is on the north side of it. Actually, old uh, Northwestern bisected the property itself. Um, but uh, basically, uh, the road comes down, it continues into what you would think of as the Y property, um, and then stops just north of Row Park. Um, the right-of-way vacation, it's an 87 foot long by 36 foot wide street right-of-way, which is about 3,000 square feet in area. It is the easternmost portion of, of Northwestern Avenue. Um, so that is the one of the requests is the vacation and what you see there is in blue outlined in blue is the vacation um, But also as part of this request as item 1b um, The Y is requesting the city dispose of the south half of the proposed vacation uh, to the YMCA as well as a, a small 18 um, by 23 foot which is in gold here uh, portion of former Northwestern right-of-way that was vacated in 2000 when that was vacated in 2000, it went to the south property, which is Row Park. Um, so it's still improved as a street with a sidewalk, uh, but it's technically part of Row Park. Um, let me see, this is going to zoom out a little bit so you can kind of see the relationship. This is Washington, Merritt, um, Broad. Uh, you have Northwestern that comes through. Again, this gray, heavy gray line is a former vacated right-of-way. Um, that went to the property owners on both sides. When a, when a right-of-way is vacated, and you'll see it blocked off here, half goes to the property owner on one side, half goes to the property owner on the other side, typically. Um, there are instances where that doesn't happen. So in this case, when this portion of Northwestern is vacated, if it is vacated, the north half would go to the YMCA property who owns this parking lot, and the south half would go to Rural Park. Um, city staff, when we reviewed the request to vacate the right-of-way, um, didn't feel there's any need to keep the southern half. Um, there are utilities in there, but we would retain easements over the top of it. Uh, the Parks Department wasn't interested in it. Um, the city felt that we didn't need it. So the request is also to dispose of um, this purple area, which is the newly vacated right-of-way um, from the city to the YMCA. And then additionally, they're requesting to vacate that little 18 foot by 20 I say 23 foot formerly vacated right of way, which is now part of um, this lot, uh, also to the Y. Uh, the request to do this, the YMCA, will, and they'll be coming through in the future with the planned development, but they're going to do a major renovation and rehab uh, to the Y facilities downtown. Um, they'll be reconfiguring their entire site, primarily the building. It's going to require them to lose a bunch of the parking just on the north side of the building, and I think there may be a a real rough concept plan here. Um, so they'd be removing a bunch of the parking here and they're hoping to make some of it up in this former right-of-way area. And you can kind of see here, obviously this will come back through later. These are only conceptual, uh, but this is sort of that major uh, rehab. Um, I've seen the plans and the elevations preliminarily and it's quite impressive. Um, but in order to do that, um, they're hoping to make up some of that lost parking in this right-of-way. They can use, they can get just about another row of parking in there, 
Obviously, you can't do it uh, if it's right-of-way. Also, when it's right-of-way, you have setbacks from the right-of-way, um, which cause problems. Um, so basically, that is that is really it. Public Works has reviewed it. Um, they didn't have any issues with the vacation other than uh, requesting the easements for utilities. Uh, the Parks Department reviewed it. They had no desire for either the southern uh, vacated right-of-way or the leftover piece from 2000 uh, for Roll Park. Uh, they did have a question that they wanted mm -hmm. to retain the sidewalk there. Um, the YMCA had uh, mentioned to the city that they have no intent of removing the sideway, sidewalk on that south side. It isn't a condition, but uh, um, that's sort of, the, uh, sort of the story. So uh, staff is recommending approval of 1A, which is the partial vacation of Northwestern Avenue as requested with one condition that we retain full utility easements within the vacated right-of-way. And then item 1B recommendation <coughs> is approval of the land dispositions of both the vacated Northwestern Avenue as requested and the former <coughs> vacated right-of-way. I don't know how else to explain it, that little small 18 by um, 26 piece. Excellent. Technical questions, Carl. And just one back to the map. I'm assuming, I realize YMCA is a, essentially a public service organization, <coughs> but I'm, I'm assuming there's still public access to Roe Park from Northwest, Northwestern Avenue there. Correct, there's still access right here in the in the uh, northwestern right of way, and that kind of makes sense too. When you look at the when you look at the map, the right of way now will come down to a 90 degree angle up. Um, is that Madison? I believe that's Madison yep. Street. Mm -hmm. um, so functionally, it's still going to be functioning exactly the same. Right now, it just kind of goes in an additional 80 some feet. The street's almost like a driveway. If you're out there, you kind of it's hard to tell if it's a driveway or a street. Gary, uh, I'm, I'm sorry, uh, uh, Kathleen has. You can go ahead. Oh, okay, thank you. Um, does uh, access to the park lot, to the YMCA park, park lot from Northwestern, will that still be available to all the uh, access? I believe it'll be available. The preliminary plans that I saw it does show a driveway going in there, and they're going to have parking there. But you'll review that when they come through with their plan development as well, because they'll be redesigning the site. Okay, because I, I think it's very, it's, it's very important to, to have uh, access to the parking lot because uh, uh, if people don't uh, are not aware of it, Madison is a one-way street going south. Okay. Right. And that, that, <coughs> that means that uh, if people are on the exit, they need to go west to uh, Mount Vernon. And then, you know, if they want to go south, they have to go west and then north and then east and then south. Right. You know, I mean, it's a bit, it's a, you know, I, I, don't, I don't think it's a big, big deal. Uh, and that, um, that parking lot also has access to Merritt and to Broad. So you have quite a few access points into that parking lot. Well, oh, okay. okay. Well, well I, I'm, I'm, I guess I'm more, more, more concerned with the people living on the existing Northwest uh, Avenue and uh, Madison Street. Um, the... Um, Okay, the, the, the second question I have is in regards to the IMB. Do I ask that now or do I wait? Let's wait till we're done with Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'm also interested in Northwestern and understand that we will see the exact street layout when they come back with street and driveway, that intersection. You would that see the driveway, yeah, you'd see we'll the see, driveway layout. We'll see whatever <coughs> this, uh, Public Works and, and the Y has worked out when it comes. Um, Northwestern, of course, is in horrible shape. Yeah. Worse than horrible. Um, I thought there might have been some, um, uh, well, maybe, I don't know about vacation, but well, maybe vacation, vacation to the um, county building. Or and and not, not keeping the street, but I, uh, right now I can't <coughs> remember if there are homes, there's two on the street and there are there, there are, are some individual lots too that access that street as well oh okay so that won't be vacated anytime soon improved I hope but not vacated okay right, right now that's all I have right under Ed? Yep. two of them for sale if you want them my recollection is the R5 piece right there uh, that sort of L-shaped uh, no to the west of that across uh, northwest um, what's the valley 
Madison. 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 Sorry. So, is is that a does the Y own that? It's it's all parking, and I, for some reason I feel like it's Y employee parking, but I I can't remember. I don't know. I, I'm just wondering, and, I, and this is you know this is really obviously none of my business, frankly, but I'm just wondering if there isn't any further right away tweaks that can be made to integrate a piece like that into the into the larger site, kind of like what Kathy was suggesting. Is there something that could be vacated to the county on the south side that you do have those two those two homes right there? I just don't know if there's any way to utilize that parcel as as part of it to solve some of the parking challenges. Just a thought. I just, <laughs> All right. Other technical question. That's close. Though. Sorry. <laughs> All right. Seeing that anyone here from the audience is this item today. Good question. Uh, um, step up to the microphone. It'd be easier for us to hear you. <coughs> State your name and address too for our minutes. Uh, my name is Les <laughs> from Alat. I live at. Uh, I almost said the work by work. I almost live there, 324 Washington Avenue, but 1960 Lennox Street in Oshkosh here. Um, yet the plan that we have is to not only just add a little more parking into it, but uh, in the new division when we're building the YMCA here, the, our child care is right up front. So a lot of direct traffic coming through there is a little worrisome with parents loading and unloading their kids out of our child care area. So. Being able to control that a little bit better is going to be a, a big relief to us and, and the parents and kids in our program. So, cool. Do we have any questions for him? So, go ahead, Gary. I, I got uh, uh, just a quick comment in regards to your, your, your development. I, I would hope you, try, you would try and get some green space in that area. We do actually uh, in the new in the new building we have a nice new green space. Oh, okay, okay, I'll, I'll, I'll do. I, I'm not really uh, asking you, you know, what kind of response. I'm just saying mm -hmm. that I think as a uh, commission member, it would be very, very nice if you could get some green space in there when you eventually bring it back to the commission. The other thing I, I was concerned about is the uh, rain. Uh, uh, The 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 the, 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 uh, the uh, uh, rain runoff on on that because it seems to me like it's it's basically all concrete and again you know uh, when you're trying to develop your plans take that into some other consideration or try to take that into consideration and that's just my suggestions. Thank Any you. other questions for the commission? We appreciate your investment in this for yep. what it's worth. Yeah, we do. It's neat. All right, there's. No other audience member except Steve. I don't think you have anything to add today. And it All right. Be used. It be used. There's nobody else out there besides Steve. So back to the commission for discussion. Make a motion to approve both one uh, A and one B. Second. Second. I think Ed got there first. Any discussion on the motion? Wait a minute. I I I, I opposed. Uh, I, I I opposed that motion. Matter of fact, I had a question on one B. Well, it's been moved and seconded. Okay. Well, I'll move um, to take 1A separately. I, I, and I'll amend to take 1A separately. Are you okay with There's that, no Mr. 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 Motion Maker? I'll, I'll agree with that. Okay. Let's just vote on them separately. So Based we're going to vote on them separately. Carl. Yeah, one procedural question just in advance. Being a member of the YMCA and a donor to the YMCA, I'm assuming that is not a conflict of interest. I don't believe for something like Better that. Better not be. It will probably I wouldn't think so. Most of the table out. Right. So, yeah. Let's I just don't want It's not it. as though we have a financial stake. <laughs> right. Good. So it's been moved and seconded that we <coughs> approve <coughs> one item 1A. If there's no further discussion. Can we have a vote on 1A? Owen? Aye. Cummings? Aye. Rob? Aye. Ray? Aye. Weigert? Aye. Nolenberger? Aye. Foytek? Aye. Motion carries 7 0. Okay. We have a motion for 1B. I will make that motion to approve that. And I'll second. Kathy. Bob and then Kathy. Moved and seconded. Discussion, Gary? Are we going to have discussion after making a motion? Okay, okay have a discussion yeah. about the motion. Okay. My, 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 my discussion and question is why is this recommendation not uh, very specific in regards to my, 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 my viewing of this motion is that 
it's approving the land disbursement, uh, disbursement of the vacated line that we just approved, not the additional vacated line. Item item one A was about. Say so, 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 uh, 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 one B has more more square area than uh, item one one A. Right. And uh, I, I I I I would look at one B and say that only the area area in one A is being approved. Well, if if you want, you could change the the recommendation for the land disposition of the of the vacated portion of Northwestern Avenue as requested as well as the formerly vacated portions of Western Avenue from 2000 that makes it more clear it, it, it would be to me but uh, if if uh, other members of the Commission don't think it's necessary then you know it's a mute issue oh I think that's all right doesn't hurt fine did you get that language tip I'll agree to that. Kathy's okay is, with that as well. And it is kind of spelled sure. out on this. <coughs> thing, so. We 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 uh, we uh, we really don't want to confuse the council when they vote on this. Pretty smart people, it. most of them. All right, it's been moved and seconded. <laughs> Any further discussion on the motion? Seeing none, let's call the roll. Owen. Aye. Cummings. Aye. Rob. Aye. Ray. Aye. Aye. Nullenberger? Aye. Poitek? Aye. Motion carried 7 0. Motion to adjourn. I was going to ask Dave if he had anything, but I guess. Nope. I have right. nothing. Motion has been moved, and does anybody second it? Okay, Ed. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Huh? Well, only 20 Don't minutes. run away, Kathy. That was fast. Okay. Bob moves to